Hey there. So I'm hoping that the volume is working well and I'm just going to be on here for a quick moment because as many of you know, I did a thing and those little ones are waiting for me in just a moment. So good morning, community. Good morning, Queens. I wanted to just share something really quickly um, that has been in my heart because my brother actually said it to me. And so perhaps it will help you as well. For those of you who are really believing God for something. So I was sharing with my brother when I was working on a project that I was praying. I needed uh, resources to be able to uh, complete a particular part of the project. And so I said, I'm praying, I'm praying because I need these resources. And so I'm just believing God that this grant is going to come through. And I'm believing God that this particular donor is going to come through and things like that. That's what I, I, I was articulating that to my brother. My brother said something to me that was very interesting. He said, stop praying that. So I'm saying that to you today. For those of you who are really believing God for certain things, I want you to hear the essence of that. He said, stop praying that. He said, do you hear yourself? You're saying that you have this particular need. You need God to, to, to um, you need resources to complete this project. And then you're adding. And so I, I need God to have this thing come to, through and this particular grant to come through. He said, God does not need you to give him the solutions to your prayer request. Requests. You simply pray the request and allow God to answer it however he chooses. That was freeing for me today. So for those of you who may be believing the Lord for something as it relates to your increase, as it relates to your promotion, as it relates to your healing, as it relates to your dreams, your goals, a family situation, whatever that is, I want to encourage all of us to stop praying that. What is that? Praying the solution praying the solution to our God. We simply need to, to present it to him as a request and allow him to answer however he chooses. God has resources and ideas and concepts that are so far beyond what we can imagine. So I'm going to get off quickly. I'm going to tell y'all more about this thing I did, right? That has me kind of jumbled up with my time, but I wanted to share that because I've been in an intense time of prayer. I need God to do some things in my life, but in the midst of that, I am resisting, praying the request, and then praying the solution. Because the Bible says, according to your faith, allow it to be so. And if my faith designates the answer, it removes opportunity for God to move however, however, through whatever, through whomever he desires to move through. So to each of you today, I wish I had time to interact longer. I love you, community. I love you, queens. I am rooting for you. I am in this thing with you. I want to encourage you you. I want to encourage you as you are praying to simply present your requests before the Lord and world changers, super sheroes, all of that stuff that you are, lay that down when you go before him, knowing that he does not need you to do the request and the answer. Simply give him the request. So again, I was praying, Lord, I need resources to finish this project. So help this grant to come through, help these people to do their donation. And my brother literally said to me, stop praying that. You just pray the request and let God answer however he chooses to answer. Y'all understand what I'm saying? If you understand? All right. So again, love you all. As always, I honor the greatness in you. Y'all be well. By the way, you're on my prayer wall. Literally, it says the community. But if you have specific requests today, go ahead and lift uh, Put those requests down in the bottom all day long as we replay and watch. Add your requests and pray for somebody else's request. But let's just pray requests today and trust God to give solutions. All right. Love you all. Take care. I'll see you real soon.